just six days until the big game. So it is time to start planning your Super Bowl menu. And here to help us all do that is celebrity chef Guy Fieri, who's teaming up with the folks at Ritz Crackers to create some perfect Super Bowl Sunday appetizers. And I love that they're perfectly sized. You know, I don't want a huge plate. No. You have this big plate Snack going. Food, and right? Just eat something. Have a cold one. Watch the game. I like your style. You got it. Well, let me tell you about this one. Okay. Philly cheesesteak. So peppers and onions. We know how to sweat those down. Yep. Okay. A little uh, nice choice ribeye. Ribeye. This is your, okay. Yeah. The ribeye is so great to work with because it's got all the built-in moisture. Okay, it's got that fat. Cooks yep. down and becomes nice and juicy. Nice flavor. What's going to happen is we take some of these dry rub seasonings, okay. a little kosher salt, some oregano, some basil, yeah. some pepper, okay. a little granulated garlic, and then Chili just powder? a touch, no, a little no, paprika. paprika. Just depends on the color. Okay. Okay. Sprinkle that over the top of the meat. Now, those peppers and onions have sweated down already. Okay. This could all be done ahead of time. That's the great piece about this. And I like your this. thing, because then you can really enjoy your day in the game. Exactly. And the it's, commercials. It, which is the best part. Have you seen my commercial? Uh-huh. I, I have it DVR. Exactly. I just watch it and over you just have it on a loop on a DVR. Over, yes. You throw the meat in, so it's got the nice dry rub seasoning on there. Throw it in with Do your Do I have to let that dry rub sit at all? If you can, you'll add a little bit of flavor to it. It won't just fall off. Okay. But don't don't worry about this. This can all be done ahead of time. You could do this a day ahead of time if you want. Stop. Okay, get, get out. I am in. Okay. <laughs> More garlic now. Now we throw a little stuff. bit of the garlic in right behind it. Exactly, the real stuff. Yep. But we wanted to let those peppers and onions go, let that meat start to brown up, let the garlic get in there. If you have enough moisture in there, you don't have to worry about the garlic burning, gotcha. okay? So we'll let this saute down. Now, the great thing about this is this could be made to about medium rare, then cooled down, right. let it just hang out, heat it up when you're ready. Okay. Now, what takes place, let me show you this. Da -dun -da -da -da, da -dun -da -da -da. The oh. Now we pop these Philly cheesesteaks on top of the uh, the Ritz the cracker, cracker with okay. one of my favorite cheeses, a little pepper jack. Little pepper jack, and that thing is smoking, smoldering hot. But of course, you're gonna bite it right on you. Uh -huh. You're brave. Uh -huh. You are brave. Uh -huh. You can tell you have kids. There it goes, and it falls apart. But I'm here for the save. Mm -hmm. You got it. Nice. I was good TV Here's right there. It's delicious. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Remind me to give you now that. that it's, now that I have it all over me to eat some more later, it's great. Let me tell you about another one of these. Uh, so, I mean, all kinds of great recipes that you can pick up. Mm -hmm. And you get the link through you guys. But when we move over here, this is one that we do at the restaurant, my restaurant, Johnny Garlics. Now, we take some really nice prawns, uh, wrap them in some pre-cooked bacon. You cook that bacon down just a little bit. So you cook some of the fat out. Right. So when it cooks, the, when it cooks the shrimp, the shrimp cooks, the bacon's crispy. That's the oh, kicker. Oh, I like it. And as, and as Marisol said earlier, everything's better with bacon. I have to ask you this question. Yes. What is the difference between the shrimp and the prawn? Are you just getting fancy on us? Well, you know what? I'd like to give you some real clear definition about how it all works. You're I getting would, fancy on us. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. What sounds more interesting? Oh, you want to have the prawn? Actually, there is a true difference in the size of the of the uh, prawn, okay. uh, size of the shrimp, where it comes from. But just to give you the definition of the overall, how people say it, people do kind of interchange. We do it a little mix bit. them up yeah. a lot. Yeah. Now this right here is a chipotle sauce. I was going to say, what do you have in this okay, little Okay. So the chipotle is a smoked jalapeno pepper right. that is reconstituted in what's called adobo. So it's kind of a spicy vinegary tomato sauce. So you take that with some barbecue sauce, some mustard, some chili powder, mix it all together, okay? And, and this then we can obviously make ahead of time. Absolutely ahead of time. Wrap these shrimp ahead of time. Pre-cook that bacon a little bit. Put it in a soaked skewer. This will give you the key. If you're cooking this over a flame, soaking the skewer keeps the skewer from burning. You know, like you do a kebab and then all of a sudden that would it be breaks bad. in half. Yeah, not yeah, so good. That would be bad. So you pop this together. But here's the idea about when we're talking Super Bowl at the Fieri house, yep. or if you're talking Super Bowl and you're, and you're taking something to, to somebody's house, you might not have the kitchen facility to cook. Make it ahead of time. That's and the real key. And make it easy. That's when you're bringing it too. You want it to be easy for the host. Absolutely. You want and to be a helper. Easy to eat. Look at this. I mean, you can take this along throw it on a plate, peel it off. You don't necessarily need a knife, but I'm not about, I mean, I love to cook great food. And I yeah. love to cook a lot of food. What I don't like to do is miss the game. Right, and you want to make it accessible. You have a couple other things. We only have about 30 seconds, but talk to us about the other recipes we can find on the website. This you'll be able to get, I mean, we've, we're taking, we're doing some shrimp. We're doing the, the pork popper with a nice little slaw on Ooh. top of it. Uh, a nice can little, I try one of these? Uh, get after this. Fancy. Jalapenos, you name it. You'll be able to find all of this on the website and uh, enjoy. Have a great game. It's going it. to be a great Super it Bowl. It is always good to have you with us, Guy Fieri. Thanks for coming You're back. And the recipes, as he mentioned, are on our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com.